What are avocado orcs and how to paint them? Let's find out. Right, I would consider this an avocado orc. So essentially it's a retro old hammer orc. And what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to paint that retro old hammer skin or how I like to do it anyway. This video has been requested by my patrons multiple times. So this one goes out to both Searle and mostly Zen. Links are below for the patron if you do want to support the channel any further. So what we're going to do is try and recreate that second edition orc look. And for those of you old enough to remember what old school painting guides were like, uh, in the past they were generally just four steps. Those four steps were undercoat, base coat, highlight, golden demon. So what we're going to do is recreate that second edition orc avocado coloured skin. And the way that we're going to do it is using a technique that I've been doing for a long time since I was about 10 years old. And it is a little bit different than what they've put in the painting guide there. No surprises, right? You're going to need just three paints for this and one wash. So I prefer to use old school paints where I can. And the most important one being OG, the real deal goblin green but of course this stuff can be hard to find there are other alternatives out there and for you guys who um, only want to use gw paints or only have gw paints you could use um, strachan or elysian green um, depending on your taste that would work all right as well uh, you're going to need to mix your paints here as well so you're going to need a palette the one that I prefer to use is the Pro Ultra Extreme Reusable Hobby Palette 2021, which you can see here. It's also known as a Harry Bow lid. Now, when using old school paints, I actually prefer to use a hard palette. But if you're using more modern paints, it's not a problem. I mean, a wet palette is going to do the same job, essentially. As I discussed earlier, we're going to be going for that classic second edition look. And the paints that I like to use for this are coat de arms. So I will add that this is not a sponsored video, but you will see me using coat de arms paints a lot in this video. The reason I use coat de arms paints is that I find that they are the best for getting that kind of old hammer feel. And if you haven't heard of them before, there is an Element Games affiliate link below in the comments and the description where you can get 10 to 25% off your usual hobby supplies. And uh, of course, if you're an old Hammer fan, remember to hit that like button and maybe to subscribe if I've earned it today. So we're going to be using three paints. The first is Goblin Green, as we discussed. The other two paints are going to be Sun Yellow from Coat de Arms. This is the old school equivalent of Sunburst Citadel Yellow. And we're going to use the appropriately named Flesh, which I believe is kind of similar to the old school Citadel Bronzed Flesh. GW fans, you could replace these with maybe Uriel Yellow and Flayed One Flesh would probably work all right as well. The only other thing you're going to need is a nice dark green wash. Now, the one that I'm going to be using is Army Painter Quick Shade Green Tone. But like I said, any old dark green wash will probably do the same job. And just as a word of warning, before we continue... Those of you with expensive Raphael and Windsor Newton brushes need to look away now because I'm going to be using this <laughs> haggard old £2 eBay brush throughout the video. You've been warned. Step one, the undercoat. What I find is that Goblin Green is quite a strong colour. It's probably not going to really matter too much what your undercoat is, but... If, for those of you who are wondering what I've done here, this is just a Xenophil highlight. But to be honest, this black with the white Xenophil highlight isn't going to make much of a difference because that Goblin Green is such a strong colour. Step two, the base coat. Easy. It's going to be flat Goblin Green on the skin. Nothing fancy here. Step three, the wash. Again, nothing fancy. We're just going to go and put that army paint a green tone all over the goblin green or wherever their skin the idea being is that wash is going to seep into those recesses and add shadow and then that brings us on to step four step four this is where the fun really begins so you can see on my palette i've got the three colors 
goblin green, sunburst yellow, and a bronzed flesh. And I'm going to mix them as I need them. So the first step, though, is we just need to reapply the base coat. And I'm going to add a little bit of that sunburst yellow in there as well. Now, the idea is that we're going to go over all the raised areas and we're going to leave any of that dark wash in the recesses. And what this is going to essentially work as is your first highlight. And if you are going for battle ready, I would say stop here if you've got a mob of 20 boys to do. But if you're doing characters, you want to move on to the next step. We're going to start adding in a little bit of that flesh tone now. And now we're going to get progressively lighter. And as we get progressively lighter, the sort of surface area that we're going to be painting is going to get kind of smaller and smaller until we get that kind of point of light. And we're going to get almost almost up until that flesh color we've it's got a tiny little bit of yellow and a tiny little bit of goblin green in there and that is the real avocado color that we're going for and for the skin that is it really there are a couple of extra steps i've taken with this guy one um, I've added in some dark wash into the real recesses so maybe just under the orc lip um, and in the hands, um, maybe the eyes as well, actually think about it. Um, and the only other step I've done is I did add a little bit of purple wash to his upper lip just to give a little bit of contrast. And really, that is us done. That is what I would consider the quintessential second edition orc avocado skin. Few steps, very simple. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, why not give it a like and why not check out one of my other hobby videos here? See you later.